morning. Well, this week's vlog is a little bit different, purely because I'm hardly in it. Today was all about Simon strimming and tidying up the yard, while I was messing about trying to figure out how I can do some new camera angles and basically make some of the more, I'm not going to say boring, but mundane stuff look a bit more interesting. Plus, with all the ragworting that we've been doing lately and, oh, well, you know all about that. We had let parts of the yard get really overgrown and it was a great excuse for Simon to use another one of his new toys, his new strimmer. Now, I know it's a bit weird that Simon is using a tool that is not Ryobi. He researches everything, and I mean absolutely everything. He found that this strimmer was much better. It's an Iron Hell strimmer, and it's the Agilo 36. But instead of paying extra money for the batteries for that one, because it was a tool only again, he found some adapters on Amazon that you can use to plug into this and still use the Ryobi batteries that he's got. Definitely saves money. Yeah, and look, don't you think it looks a lot better? Streamed quite a bit. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of my different camera angles. I do like a change of camera angle, especially when well, I get bored so easily. And we've got Hope and Toby. Thought I'd give you a little bit of equine content. They're being absolutely driven mad by the flies at the minute. And I'm looking into different homemade fly sprays. So have a look at that video. It'll be coming out soon because I'm working over a week to a fortnight trying out these different fly sprays to see if they work, how they work and which is the best really so you don't have to try it. Here you can see we've got a crazy dock, dock problem. Oh, I hate docks. I think quite a few people have got a problem with docks this year. Just like the ragwort, how that's come up in abundance, so has the dock leaves and uh, buttercups as well. So we are looking into a way to either spray or keep down the dock leaves for next year. I do really think this is a good strimmer. You can change the heads on it, so you can either have it as a um, just strimmer line, but you know, it breaks easily. When you're in an environment like this, or it comes with this blade, the blade is absolutely fantastic and it really does take everything down. It even chops through wood, chops through like thin you know, old tree branches and everything. It's crazy. And you can see that we've uncovered some of the wood there as well that we're going to use when we eventually build our hay store. This is part of our driveway and the brambles were so overgrown and the stinging nettles had become so thick underneath that I was finding it really difficult to get my car down there. I have to drive onto this section here so that I don't bottom the car out, which I've done so many times in the past year. So just taking that extra few feet really does make a difference and it means that I can open my car door a lot easier as well without getting out the car into stingers, which is never a nice thing. Cuts through so easily, doesn't it? And here you can see how there's a good two to three feet difference. Oh, and there's our black gate, which ugh, I completely lost the footage of, but we picked that up a few weeks ago because it had that rubber panel on the bottom to stop the dogs getting through. We haven't fitted it yet, so that's going to be on our to-do list as well to fit the gate soon because at the moment, to get Hope 
or Dream or Toby out of the field, I have to literally unpadlock the gate and drag it over to one side, which isn't the best of things to have to do. So I'm going to add that to my to-do list. Yep, looking better already. It's surprising how much strimming you have to do for field maintenance. I don't think it's something that anyone really thinks about or really talks about. But it is really important to have to strim and keep all the weeds down because they do take over. Doing a bit more fancy camera angles here. And you can see the back of the stables which I still need to paint. Need to add that to my to-do list as well. And I've got this fabulous idea that I'm going to be doing to the back of the stables as well, which I really want to do soon, but it's just a case of getting the time to paint the stable first. So, yeah, paint the stable and do the amazing thing that I'm doing on the back of the stable. Add that to my to-do list. Oh, I do find it so satisfying just watching the grass and the weeds being strimmed. Right, so... Some of you will remember that we had an accident with the IBC around the front because Hope used her big clod up her feet to smash the tap off the front which emptied a thousand litres of water all over the floor. So what we're doing here, because the IBC at the back of the stable is always full and it overflows, we're draining the water from the IBC at the back into the one that was emptied at the front. It is about a quarter full already because we've had some rain, just not as much rain as I thought we were gonna get. So this way we can pretty much half fill this one because what it does by doing it this way with the pipes at the bottom and opening both taps, it levels out both of the IBC containers. Right, so I'm fixing what Hope did to the IBC container. The We had a spare one of these that go on that she broke, but the other one had a half inch hole um, where this is three quarters. So we've had to get a reducer and all I've got to do is wrap it with the tape. I'm not very good at wrapping with the tape. So I'm going to put that round four times and then that screws into here. I'm going to tighten it up nice and tight and then this is the tap that she ripped off the old fitting. So I'm going to do the same and wrap the tape around that. Carefully wrap that around and this just seals it so that there's less chance of getting any leaks and then that screws into there nice and tight so now we're just screwing it perfect so that'll work uh, i'd have to unlock this one for the water to come out of here so it's collected here now and we're running the pipe all the way around all the way here and there's baby dream making sure we're doing a good job so i'm going to connect this end to what we've just put in there like that if I turn this on now the water will run down this pipe all the way down and if I open this one and open this one like so so now what will happen is because the 
IBC here that's at the back of the stable is completely full and it's also on a higher level than the one at the front that um, Hope emptied. It will now even its water levels out in the two. So technically the front one that she emptied will end up about three quarters full and the one at the back there at the back of the stable will end up about a quarter full this one at the back of the stable fills a lot quicker because it's filled from the whole of the back of the stable and there's only one ibc connected to it whereas the ibc's at the front there's two of them and they are both filled from the front of the stable but there's also that downpipe that we cap that fills the bucket that the horses drink out of periodically so they don't fill as quickly as this one holy moly look at that look at this Bruce <laughs> They're all up there. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're all the way up. Why are they so... They're so perfectly ready. This is the life, isn't it, Bruce? The ones at the very top would be just for the birds. That's why they're right at the top. Just one. Oh, is that the most perfect one? Oh. What could we turn these into? Pancakes. Pancakes. Crumble. crumble. Who makes the best crumble? Sheila. Should we pick them and give them to Sheila to turn into the best ever crumble? Yeah, before I eat, before I eat, I eat them. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I wish we had crumbles there. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever lose them. Oh no, they're, they're poisonous to people. Yeah. Only they only for birds. birds. They have no idea what they are. Why do they make Ribena from? Ribena. Yeah, they try one. I don't know. I don't understand. Apparently, these are elderberries. I'll just keep this in. So we've got a dog poo bag. We're picking the berries. And we're going to give them to. Sheila, who is Simon's mum. She's going to make an amazing crumble because that's what she does. <laughs> Ruined her life by just forcing her to make crumbles. Make more crumbles. Mm. Yeah, I've got another handful. Mm -hmm. I think he's eating more than he's putting in the bag. I could eat all that for you. <laughs> got quite a few. We've got bushes. There, there, all along there. All behind the muck pile there. And then all the way along here. All the way down. How amazing is that? Oh wow, together, that's loads. Mm, look at that. Am I allowed a tiny bit? No. Then if I'm still hungry, a little bit more. Thank you. Right. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. Yes, thank you. I have these ice cream. That's really lovely. That's my scoop. That's my scoop. Come in. Perfect scoop. I should be Whoa. an ice cream worker. Hire me. Sponsor me. Make me famous. Just please. Is that going to 
me the best crumble. Of course it is. Trying to let it melt and then if I melt the ice cream with the custard that makes it cold. Like nice and sort of warm and cold. Mm -hmm. So I have to eat it. But I don't have to. But I like to mix it because then it goes perfect. Go on then, eat some of it then. Yes, me. Yes, please. All of it. <laughs> hmm? Have you got any rhubarb? I have, it's not cooked. Could we make just a bought, rhubarb and blackberry? Tonight. I can do, yes, for next time. And maybe if there's a bit of apple. Okay. Perfect. I think that'll be the best one. Mum, you're missing out.